The videos emerging on social media paint a grim picture. Long lines of bodies at crematoriums, queues for people picking up ashes, hospitals struggling to cope. <laughs> State media is showing more orderly scenes at hospitals, but there's no denying the strain China's medical system is under. In fact, many of our hospital personnel are also infected, so we've brought in medical workers from other specialist clinics to support them. As China ends COVID restrictions for international arrivals, other countries are doing the opposite for Chinese travellers heading their way. With the borders officially open on January the 8th, the US, Japan, Taiwan and India will require arrivals from China to present a negative COVID test. The UK is considering it too, amid reports from Italy that 50% of passengers arriving on planes from China in recent days have the virus. We'll continue to monitor the circumstances that are occurring in China and in other parts of the world as well as we do. We'll take the appropriate advice from the health experts and follow that advice. Uh, there's no change in the travel advice at this point in time. Experts say the risk of a new strain developing in China is real, but standard COVID tests at airports aren't much use. What we really need to do now is try and stop variants coming in, um, and that becomes much more difficult because the testing process for that is much more in-depth. It's a tough one for Australian health authorities to weigh up. Next month, China celebrates the Lunar New Year. Four years ago, before the pandemic, seven million travellers from China went abroad, including thousands to Australia. Bill Bertels, ABC News, Taipei.